How are we this morning? Oh, frick! Yeah. I'm gonna show y'all how to make the deadliest coon set known to man. Let's go. Crap, got my butt snagged on that. Okay, so right here is a perfect spot. It's a little shallow spot. I mean, look how shallow this is. And fish, there's fish beds all in here. We got a lot of brim in this pond. So a coon, they're gonna patrol this area looking for a fish to snatch. But why would they be snatching a fish when they got some tasty treats in these little metal cans? So we're gonna set a couple right here. Yeah. So this spot is a really good spot where you can put multiple coon sets. I know there's a lot that come through here every night, so we're gonna put two or three out. So let's get to it. Put some muscle into it. Don't break my driver though. I'm not hitting it on the head. Okay. <laughs> not that time. So once we get the chain um, driven in the ground, you want to put it in an angle, Garrett says. He is the pro trapper. So we're just going to put this thing right here in the, at an angle. Make sure that this little lever right here, nothing's getting in the way of it so it can set it off. And then this chain, it might not matter to some coons, but it's best just to cover that up, make it look a little bit more presentable for them. So, we'll take a little bit of dog food, and a little bit of fish oil, stinky junk, but it catches them. So, you can get your dog food, really? That's good. You can get stuff to trap these coons at Food Lion, Walmart, anywhere. You don't have to go to F&T, anything fancy. And then get your fish hole, pull in there, throw it around, send it up, and they're gonna be coming for miles, boys. And literally, that's all there is to it. Quick, fast, easy, and effective. You'll take a lot out this way, and it's pretty easy to do. Anybody can do it. On to the next one. Okay. So this is a great spot. You do not always have to have water to trap coons. They're everywhere. So look what we have here. We have a trail coming right through here, a heavy trail, and a trail coming right here. It's a T. Trails coming together, there's gonna be all kinds of critters coming through here. So this is a prime spot to put a dry land coon set. But I'm not gonna bore you with the details of setting it. You already know how to do that. You just set it pretty much like I just did those water sets with a dog proof but any kind of coon set will work. Okay, right here, we're gonna do a different kind of set. This is called a PVC pipe set. Really simple, that big PVC pipe standing out, it gives them a good visual, and it catches the crap out of coons. We have a trail coming here, a trail coming here. So, right here's a good place for our trap to hunt. Clean these leaves out, and we're gonna bed a duke. Just a regular foothold trap, one and a half. Okay, so we've got it dished out, but we're gonna put this PVC pipe. It's just a, I mean, I don't know what inches or whatever, but PVC pipe, doesn't matter. All right, it's hard to, it's, sometimes it's really hard to get this ground soft enough, so you'll just get a tea steak and kind of chop the dirt up a little bit. So just so you can get it soft enough to where you can stick that PVC pipe in. It doesn't take much, and it doesn't have to be seated in the ground crazy tight. This wants to be pretty solid. All right, now you're just gonna to wanna to set your, drive your stakes crosswise into the ground and- uh, Make an X out of it. Make an X. Now, we've got it driven in and you wanna put this trap to the right hand side of the bed. You really want to seat this thing it's pretty solid. And you're just going to want to put dirt all around the jaw. Make sure it's flat. Don't want anything up under your pan, which you probably already know all this. So get your trap seated real well, and then we're going on to the bait. Okay. We've got the trap seated pretty well. Got dirt, you want dirt to be pushed up all around it and uh, make sure it's not rocking. And we honestly, just for the sake of speed, we don't even bury our traps. We just 
put a bunch of this grass around it and just cover it up. So coon trapping, you don't have to be too fancy. Just kind of blend it in, throw grass over it, and they honestly don't care. He's going to work this set. They really have to work these PVC pipe sets to get what's in it. So he's going to be all up in here. So what you want to do, get a little bait fish or something, just plop her in there and uh, let the fish all do the attracting. Just throw you a little bit up in here and then just throw it all up in the trail. And there's your set. Okay, so this is probably my favorite trap set up before I discover the dog proof. This, they're really easy and people call them a cubby set bucket. This is just a cubby set that you don't put on the side of the hill. You don't have to do any digging. I use five gallon buckets. I didn't have any today, but we got these little boxes for conibears, bears and I'll just put a foothold right in front of it. And basically we just do the footholds exactly like we, do, we did the PVC pipe sets where you saw earlier. Get you a fish. Um, we catch pinfish from the beach, brim, any kind of fish will work. Throw it in the back of the box, and you're going to want to get some fish oil because this is coons love it. Throw that, do that, drop your fish oil, you got a set. Throw some grass over it, and it's going to catch a coon!